hello everyone in this video I'm going to show you how to create your own music for free um, I, lo I was looking on the internet to uh, try to find somewhere I could save some money I get a free music synthesizer uh, I came across this website um, this application is called cycle I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right it's, uh, it's spelled P S Y C L E it's a pretty good tool. Uh, it has quite a lot of different uh, uh, machines, uh, machine sounds that uh, you could create from your uh, PC. And uh, best of all, it's free and open source. Uh, so here are the steps on just to create like a simple program and how to install this. Uh, uh, you just open your web browser, go to their website. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, uh, but uh, here is the the URL. Uh, well, maybe I'll try to pronounce it. It's uh, cycle dot past not past paste not note cut dot org. <laughs> well, I butchered the name, uh, but you can go to this website. Um, uh, here you are going to see. Uh, I just look for the version for Windows. Uh, there's a 32-bit version. I just clicked on this, and this will take you to uh, sourceforge dot net, where you can download. Uh, this application uh, once it's downloaded uh, you can just double click on the icon and that will launch the setup it just takes like a, a couple of minutes to install uh, okay once it's installed you can click on the icon uh, to open the to launch the application uh, you'll get this screen just click on ok this is your main screen here is your master box uh, this application comes with a whole lot of machines and uh, different uh, tools uh, in order for you to listen to make your own music you'll have to add your machines to the master box so for that all you have to do is click on F9 uh, then you can add a new machine uh, let me see one of my favorites is Glut I'm going to open that um, in order to listen to this machine, uh, machine you ha it has to be connected to the master box. So what you'll have to do is do a right click, drag the mouse uh, pointer to the master box and let it go. And now your machine is connected to listen to the sound. Just press any keys on your keyboard. So I'm just going to press Y T. So I just press like Y T R W E something. So that's the sound. Now I want to add some uh, beats to it. Uh, drum so I select drum synthesizer do the same thing do a right click drag it and uh, to the master box and let it go so now you have the drum now you can click on the drum box to listen to your drums this procedure is the same just click on some uh, press some keys on your keyboard Y T R 3 E W and so there's your drum I also wanted to add a good if effect effect so I'm just gonna add go into F9 go to sound effects select uh, reverb click on OK in order for these effects to work you have to connect your uh, machines to the effect box and then the effect box has to be connected to the master box so for that one I'm just going to do a right click on your point pointer, take it to your effect box. You can actually move it below. So, and then do a right click on your reverb and plug it into your master box. So now you have uh, your effect. Uh, to hear it, just click on uh, your new machine, press the keys. So there it is. Now in order to create your own music you'll have to add you have to click on uh, view and pattern editor uh, you can also press F3 so this is where you're going to add your music I've got my you can select your machine and then uh, you can add your keys to it so I'm going to first select my uh, I guess uh, my strings so I'm just going to do a uh, hit some keys So there it is. 
now I want to add some uh, drum, uh, some beats to it. I can either add the beats on uh, this um, on the box right next to my strings, or I can create a new segment in which once all my strings are played, my uh, beats come in. So I'm just going to click on New and uh, select Drums. And I'm just going to do some drumming. Yep, my drumming isn't that good, but it will make it. Hopefully, it should come out pretty good. All right, so there's my drumming. So here it comes. Yeah, it sounds much better playing. Uh, there's one thing you can also change the tempo. Uh, there's lines per beat, uh, octaves. Uh, you can do a whole lot of different things with it. Uh, play around with these settings. So let me see. I want to add one more. Now I want to mix both my music and uh, my strings and my drumming. So all I do is do a uh, left click on the mouse drag it all the way down so everything is selected on my strings actually yeah, strings uh, bar do a control c to copy go to my new tab i'm going to go all the way up to the first box click in there and do a control v to paste everything down so this is my strings now i go to my drums uh, drums box uh, drums pattern pick up my uh, select all my drums control do a control C go to my new pattern which is the third in the row click on the first line do a control V to paste it now my music should be all ready if you want to listen to the demo here it is click on play same thing you can press F2 or you can click on view machine view to add more machines to it I'm gonna add some more click on F9 sound generators let's see oh, let's try this one I'm not even sure what it does and I'm gonna do a right click connect it to my master just to see oop there it is there's an error so if it crashed I can do a right click delete this Let's see, I'm going to add some, another machine. And load the computer again. Excuse me, I have no idea what this is. Let's try this. Plug it in. Oh, okay, this is pretty cool. So I go to F3, to my patterns. I'm going to add that sound to my second. And I select Feed Me, that was the name of the machine. And uh, let's see what it does. All right. So now that should be added to it. So let's see. said that's how you create your own music uh, let's see and you can do a save you can create your own uh, wave files let me turn the volume low you can do a file you can save it as a cycle file or you can create your own wave file your music file 
So this is how you create your own little music. Uh, pretty good too. You should try it out. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for some more videos. Whatever applications I find, I'll put it in my